I'm Derek Brown and I was attacked by a bushbuck. We normally take our two dogs, two German Shepherds, uh, Rusty and Pepper, out for a walk in the bush. And uh, it was about half past four in the afternoon. Uh, our dogs suddenly raced off and we went to see what they were up to and they'd uh, discovered a, a male bushbuck. Met honden stappen in bos. Het jy altyd uh, waarschijnlijk het dat die honden gaan iets optel wat jy nie optel nie. En nou hulle het sintuie wat ongelooflik is. Maar dit skep ook een groot hoeveelheid geleendhede vir honden om eers hulle self in die moeilijkheid te kry en dan kry jy jou self in die moeilijkheid. He was caught against the fences in the corner of our property. Uh, the dogs were harassing the bushbuck and barking and growling at him. Uh, so we tried to, to move in and, and get the dogs away from the bushbuck, try and rescue the bushbuck from the dogs. Bosbuck is a beskerming tegen oor enige gevaar is sy heel eerste instink is om doodstil te gaan staan. Bosbuck is sal hulle self begin verdedig natuurlijk wanneer hulle voel wat hulle, dat hulle uh, goed bedreig word. En gewoonlik is dit uh, in gevalle waar hulle nie uh, geleentheid sien om die bedreiging te ontwijk nie. When we got close, he did sort of nod his head and snort a couple of times. Uh, I guess a kind of a warning. Dit is alles tekens wat vir jou sê dat hierdie dier is onder een of ander stress, dat is een of ander goed wat ontpla. Dit is baie, baie min dat bosbok ramme agressief in een rechte bekleire ontaard. Kort door en kies wat amper soos messe op op die kop van een bosbok is, is een redelike uh, doodelike wapen. En meeste van die bosbokke se bekleire is eindelijk net ritueel. Hulle stap so sywaarts tegen mekaar en pronk en maak die een laat die een groter lyk as die ander en ehm um, I know bushbacks can be dangerous so we were very cautious how close we got but in trying to get the dogs away unfortunately I got too close and the the bushbuck suddenly turned really quickly and headed straight for me and uh, unfortunately gored me right through the abdomen. Het is nie buitengewoon dat bosbokke mense aanval nie. Daar is effektief drie gevare wat die bosbok uh, waargeneem het terwyl hy daar gestaan het. Hy het nou, obviously probeer om, om in die richting te stap en toe in die, in die, in die draad vastgestap en hy het baie bedreig vervoel dier die twee honde wat daar so was. En toe die derde gevaar wat die mens by is bykom uh, het die bosbok waarschijnlijk gevoel, kijk, dan is nou bietje erg hier so. Uh, ek, ek ben nou uh, beklaai, ek het nie een plek om uit te kom net. It was a strange situation because everything seemed to happen in slow motion at that point. But uh, I was lucky in one respect in that the um, bushbuck gored me with one horn. So one horn went in here and the other horn just missed and went outside. So that gave me the opportunity to grab the the head of the bushbuck by his other horn and get him out of me. I think Derek had it stiekend gedoen hoe hy die situasie uh, gehanteer het. Hy weet hy het basis een mes in sy maag gehad. Gelukkig vir hom is, is uh, bosbok ramiekies uh, weeg so tussen 60 en 80 kilogram as hulle, uh, as hulle volwasse is. Uh, en uh, hy wat een volwasse man is, kan hom tenminste daai gewig hanteer. Uh, so then I had to try and get up. And again, maneuver myself behind the bushbuck and this time I managed to get behind him and grab him by his horns while my wife Pauline managed to get one dog after the other onto a lead and take them away and get them safe. And then I could finally let go of the bushbuck and thankfully he ran off. But I think the second thing that was very important was is Derek's wife who the hunde on the leisel and then the hunde was taken so met andere woorden, van die uh, bedreigings wat die bosbok kon vind het, is weggeneem. Nou as dit nie geval was nie, so die bosbok waarschijnlijk weer omgespring het en om weer probeer steek het. I knew I was in trouble. A huge amount of pain initially, but the pain very quickly disappeared. But then I realized that, okay, I'm seriously hurt and I needed to get some help. I had, what went through my mind at the time was, if I sit down I may not get up again. So I was determined to stay on my feet and keep walking. Maar ek dink die meer belangrijkste ding om nie paniekerig te raak nie, is om uh, om jouself die situasie so vinnig as moendlik op te som 
uh, en dan die noodopacties te doen indien wel nodig, maar dan natuurlijk aan na uh, baie vinnig jezelf bij uh, uh, dokter kan krijgen waar, waar die specifieke uh, medische behandeling toegepast kan worden. I walked back to the house. One of my dogs also got slightly injured. She was also bleeding from a couple of puncture wounds in her back uh, left leg. So my wife then bundled both myself and Pepper, the dog, into the car and uh, headed off to Pretoria to Vilkas Hospital. Journey of about an hour and a half. This is a photo in Bosbok gedrag. As they are a few times on the ground with their hearings to stick, for all that they are busy with their vertooning and their ritual, when they are with other rammen, for example, beklei. It means that you have a clump of other gemors on your op haar hoering, so dit is soos een besmette mes wat aan iemand uh, sy lijf ingedrukt word. And we turned up at accident and emergency at Vilkas Hospital. Surprised them a little as I walked in and said, excuse me, I've got a hole in my stomach. Can you help fix it? Uh, that's when they realised the injuries internally were a lot more serious than they first thought. Started to deteriorate quite rapidly and ended up with an emergency operation called a laparotomy and uh, found that I've got a um, pierced colon, colon had been ruptured inside and out, and the uh, horn wound had gone right the way through my insides. Luckily missing a lot of important organs. Uh, the surgeon did say at one point I was probably only in about an hour away from going. The most important thing is to try to find a situation for me. It is not simply logic to be in terms of how you in the field step, the one thing we do differently is now we, we still walk the dogs uh, twice a day as we always have, but this time they're on leads. So that um, just to reduce the danger for them as well as for us. Things can turn around so quickly. You know, what started off as just a normal peaceful Sunday afternoon stroll with the dogs in the bush um, turned out to be absolutely life-threatening. <laughs>